favourite game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Uh, venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world we have already started here well, that tackle was certainly sturdy oh good ball he's had a shot Jason. Well, Peter, look how far up the fullbacks are getting now. This is really high. And constantly after the ball, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're they're weighing up their options to see how long they can sustain this and, and suppress those wide opposition players. Now, who's going to be first? He's going for goal! Tough target and by quite a way. It was very much worth a try, and I've seen worse. That should tee him up nicely for his next attempt at least. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions utopian, the sun is high in the sky. It's a truly beautiful afternoon, and the crowd reflect that. Their faces hopeful, their smiles beaming, levels of excitement and expectation are soaring, and you get the feeling that this could be a very special occasion indeed. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. And looking down the list of names, it does look, Jim, as though it's going to be a 5 3 2. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession. We can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. So it's away we go then. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I'm going to pick Joe Moutinho. Um, I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to get between the lines and, and then get his head up. A real creative force. Yes, he'd be my pick too. And it's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Well, it didn't look good for a while, but that was brave defending and they got away with it. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store.
good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. This must be amongst the favourite arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. So, Jim Beglin, what is your interpretation of the way they appear to be lining up? Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy, because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape and training, and it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. So, off we go then. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Trent Alexander-Arnold is one of the more productive players around, despite being a defender. When you look at his stats and see his contributions, you, you can realise how key a player he really is. And I suppose in many ways you can call him the perfect example of the modern fullback. No argument from me on that front. It's uh, easy to see how his presence alone affects both sides. Another pass just keeps it ticking over. Elliot out to the right, played into the middle, up to meet it! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Listen, he would have been advised to do that as a kid, and it's obviously etched in his mind now. 